close, but I don't want to leave this place without a clue. I better hurry up and find something before they get here. Yeah, Louis once told me these rooms were used by bootleggers and smugglers during Prohibition. There were hidden panels in rooms where they'd hide their stash. Not even one crate of mixers. This guy was hardcore. This equipment is surveying several different locations, including my office. Someone knows what I've been up to. Yeah, tough break, hombre. Not even one crate of mixers. Not even one crate of mixers. This guy was hard. Not even one crate of mixers. This guy was hardcore. Well, that might come in handy. Must be the poor guy's wallet. Um, strictly speaking, I would never encourage anyone to break the law, but those sirens are getting awfully close, and a life sentence for a machine can last a very long time. So move! Nice to meet you, Maldonado. I'll need to find a computer whiz to break the encryption on this memory stick. As I try to make my great escape down the ladder, I find two officials waiting to greet me. Hello, boys. Well... If it isn't Tex Murphy, what were you doing in there? Well, it's a little hard to ex... Oh, you know the drill. I was really trying to get my hands on that surveillance equipment. Maybe I could see exactly what happened to me. Now the only way I'll find it is if New San Francisco's finest decides to play ball with me. I don't know why they'd start now, but I'd better polish up on the old Murphy charm. Whether you're a mutant or a norm, San Francisco is our home. Be a part of the solution to crime. If you see something suspicious, please report it to the SFPD immediately. Make it quick, Murphy. I got about a million things to do. And wasting time on you ain't one of them. Didn't take you long to get in trouble, did it? You here to turn yourself in? So, where's Malden? Not that I'm complaining. In case you didn't get the memo, I head up the department now. And things aren't as loosey-goosey as they were under Malden. Well, I hope you're more helpful than he used to be. Look. I know this is going to sound pretty crazy, but hear me out. This morning, I wake up with a massive head injury and an injection mark on my arm. No idea how I got either one of it. Then I talk to a few people, I find out I can't remember anything over the last seven years. You're right, it does sound crazy. But, go on. The thing of it is, my last memory is of me and my lady friend getting shot. Your lady friend, that was, uh, Chelsea Bando? Yeah know that. Well, I know your burned-out speeder was found a few weeks later with Miss Bando's DNA inside of it. God. It is true. Chelsea's dead. We closed the case. Though a few of us thought something didn't feel quite right about it. What do you mean? Well, the scene was too... staged. But, I'm not saying Chelsea isn't dead. The last time anyone saw her was with you at the Golden Pagoda. What are you saying? I was a suspect? You were, in fact. I'd have to look at the case. You were cleared at some point. Can I look at the case files? Now you know you can't, so don't even ask. Look, Murphy, I feel for you. But it was a long time ago. Chelsea was pronounced legally dead, and there's no evidence to believe otherwise. I don't know what else I can tell you. Did you ever catch the guy who shot us? No arrest. Somebody high up on the chain locked that case down and threw away the key. Even if I wanted to see the file, I'd have to pull some strings. What can you do to help me out here? I mean, until I see something or get some information... 
I'm just not going to be able to believe that Chelsea's gone. I'm sorry, Murphy. I really am. If you can find me some new clues on the case, I'll do what I can to get it reopened. That's the best I can do for you. Good luck. No, no. I don't believe it. My gut tells me she's still alive. But I'll find out one way or the other. So why is it you think I came down here to turn myself in? Well, we just found you at a crime scene with a dead body. That dead body happens to be Carlos Maldonado, a P.I. work in the same neighborhood as you. Is that your way of intimidating the competition? Well, lucky for me and Carlos, there's enough crime on Chandler Avenue to go around for two P.I.s. You boys do such a bang-up job down there. Not true. Since I took over, mutant neighborhoods get the same attention as the norms. Well, I'll be sure to tell Carlos's mother, if he had one. I was just reviewing your file when you came in. Is that a lot? Because it looks like a lot. August, 2047. Beak Nariz, NSFPD informant. Beaten and hospitalized after providing information about Tex Murphy. Nariz refuses to identify his assailant. No charges ever filed. November 2048. Surveillance video shows suspected extortionist Jen Lee leaving the Golden Pagoda with Tex Murphy, never to be seen again. The case remains unsolved. Shall I go on? In the past few years, you've gained quite a reputation for yourself. You've got new San Francisco's criminal underbelly running scared. Well, I find that hard to believe, but it's nice of you to say. We arrest criminals so they could be tried in a court of law. We don't just kill them, and I won't tolerate vigilanteism. If you didn't kill Maldonado, what were you doing then? I just found out he was spying on me. I followed the trail and saw that Maldonado had surveillance equipment aimed at my office. I want to find out what he recorded. Who cares what he recorded? If you're such an upstanding citizen, you've got nothing to hide, right? Look, I got jumped last night. I've got no idea who did it. I think there might be something on the surveillance tape, and if you can tell me what happened, I think I can help you on this case. Deal? I rarely make deals, and I don't need to make one with our only person of interest. Any more questions? I'm not sure what to think of you, Murphy. I have no evidence of an abduction. Just a dead body and only one person of interest. It might be in your best interest if you could find out what happened. That whole neighborhood seems to attract more than its fair share of trouble. As far as the coroner and the commissioner were concerned, finding Chelsea's remains in your speeder were enough to pronounce her legally dead. She's an investigative reporter at the Bay City Mirror, one of the less obnoxious ones. I'm not allowed to let you see it. I know Maldonado was a dirtbag, but unless it's in self-defense, killing somebody, even a dirtbag, is a crime and will be prosecuted. That encrypted memory stick probably has some useful information on it. Oh, great advice. If you could help me break it, then I'd be impressed. Guess I'll have to see if anyone else on the street can break it for me.